Huh. So, Mom, what, what can you tell me about this universe? Well, from where we're going, um, is this nice planet called Earth. Okay. And uh, people are different from us. That shouldn't be much of a problem. So wh why are we going there? Are we going to, you know, are we planning on conquering or diplomatic type deal? Mm. Diplomatic. Really? Well, they must be very strong. They can be? They have the potential to be? Okay, um, this planet, um, Earth, you called it. Does it have a moon? Yes. Are the inhabitants sentient? Yes, a good majority of them. Okay. How strong? Huh? How strong are they compared to us? They're... They're pretty strong. That's not why I asked. Compared to us, how strong are they? Can they even blow up a moon? No. Okay, so... Wait, why are we doing this diplomatic thing? In fact, why are we in a spaceship? To begin with. I'll... Explain it to you when you're older. Well, I'm older, huh? Anything else I need to know? You can't let people know that you're saying. What? But, um, mom, the fur, the tail? How else am I going to really blend in if I am not shaving and I am keeping my tail? No need. You don't have you don't have to shave or cut off your tail. You said they were different. Look different, right? Yes. Well, excuse me for being a little worried, because there you, you won't do this diplomatically. So why won't I have to worry? Because there's um Okay. On this planet they have these abilities that are labeled as quirks. Okay. And there's a emitter, transformation, as well as mutant variation of these quirks. Mutant. Oh, so pretty much you're going to make me say that my appearance is due to my mutation quirk? Exactly. Huh. Seriously, but it makes no sense. That... Wait. Do we, do we even have the capabilities of space travel? Yes. Or interstellar. <sighs> no. What? No, oh, no, are you kidding me? At least we made it past their galaxy? No. Universe? No. So these Earthlings are not only weaker than us, they're not even smarter than us. They have, do they have any real use to the Saiyan Empire. <sighs> you 
go again. Always want to be daddy's little soldier. Mom! Dad died like a badass. And you should, to the very least, I don't know, try to think of him more fondly. Ugh. Look, here's the thing. Uh, during my last mission, I learned of something troubling. Oh. Really? But from the reports, it says that your whole mission was an easy success. And it was, but you know how, you know, the reason why you went to that planet, right? I heard something about pre premonitions or being able to see the future. So what? Oh, you, you saw the future. Yes. Oh, wait, did, did you tell everybody? I tried, but what do you mean you tried? What happened? No one believed me. Wait, what did you see? Um, I saw the destruction of our universe. So before that happens, I decided that at least we would make it out of it. What? You, are you really saying that we're running away? Yes. But why? Whatever it is, no. It was something we couldn't fight against. I can't really make it completely, but for some reason, everyone was wiped out. So to prevent this from happening, I tried to warn everyone before, saying that we need to evacuate. They didn't believe me, or they said, Oh, please, there's no way someone could take us all out. So, I decided. <sighs> that at the very least, we would survive. I, I, I don't know what to say. So you're saying everyone's going to be gone? Everyone, yes, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, so, so what? What will we do now? Keep our heads down, blend in, and keep from drawing too much attention to ourselves. And hopefully, we won't have to move again. <laughs> what, what? What's so funny? You're... You really just compared... Changing universes... To moving. As if we're just gonna... Go house shopping or whatever. Look, I'm sorry. I know that this is going to be an adjustment, but it has to be done. Uh, fine. Fine. That, it, it makes sense. Can't argue with you. I, 
I would very much like to live as well. It's just going to be kind of a, you know, adjustment. I know. But, my thing, I've called ahead. And hopefully everything will be all right. I, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you called ahead? Yes, I let people know, at least the one with the, seems to have, uh, you know, the most control over that planet. I let them know that we were coming. Oh, wait, are, are you sure that was a good idea? Well, what's the worst that could happen? They try to kill us. What? Oh, no, no. Seriously. Mom. When it comes to certain species, when, it, when it's, uh, you know, exposed to something that's unknown, it uh, it causes a very volatile reaction at times. We got to know exactly what we're potentially dealing with here. Do we have weapons? Yes. How strong? Uh, not strong enough to blow up the moon. Really? Huh. Oh, then in that case, everything should be uh, fine and dandy, huh? Yeah. We can only hope that it is. It's only do arrive on Earth. Ego does end up dropping down to the agree upon rendezvous point. As soon as Zibu and Inko leave their city of their ship, this is when Zuku You didn't tell me about the other kinds of weapons they had. You only said you wanted to know how strong the strongest weapon was. Fair. But it would really suck if we end up, I don't know, shot up. Oh, please, those bullets won't even dent your skin. I know, but if anything, I want to tell them to stop before they just waste the bullets. <sighs> you can try. All right. <clears throat> Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Izuku, and I am part of the Saiyan race. And this is my mother, Inko. We would like to be new residents of this planet, and we would very much like to cooperate. So long as you don't uh, do anything that would be too, you know, problematic. <laughs> I'm sorry, you... What was that supposed to do? Is every soldier is pretty much looking completely like, uh, what the hell? That did nothing to them. Is it just looking at Inko's like, this is the planet you want us to seek refuge on? This is... Because I'm pretty sure they just trying to kill me. Oh no no! That, that they would they wouldn't do that. They, they no one's that stupid just to shoot first and ask questions. Never. 
Um, have you not met a Saiyan before? We would do that, given the right circumstances. What did you say in your transmission? Um, these are things. Me and my son are going to drop by on your planet, and we expect open arms and full cooperation once we land. But if all goes well, you can expect us to be great friends. I just say what we would usually say before we try to do diplomatic, you know, relations with a planet. Let them know that we're coming, and as long as everything goes well, we can, you know, be friends. Are you sure they didn't or couldn't pick it any other way? Mm, I'm not sure. But, funny thing, it seems like they do seem to have some sort of hmm, weird welcoming rituals. I didn't expect them to open fire. Attention, extraterrestrial beings! This is our answer to your little broadcast saying we should bow down to you. We refuse! As far as I see, you have three choices. Leave, and you live in a spaceship. Die, and we get all your shit. Or you surrender, we get your shit. And maybe, just maybe, you'll survive the testing. You can consider that first barrage a warning shot. There will not be another one. Sir, sir. What, 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 what is it, boy? I'm, yeah, you see, I'm threatening. Well, I just have to let you know uh, something very important. Well, what is it? Speak up. Miss what? I said I I didn't miss the I, I didn't know it was supposed to be a warring shot. I aimed right at uh, the male. Excuse me. I aimed right at the male. So are you saying that this individual took on <clears throat> machine gun fire and an explosion? Point blank range without scratch. Uh, yes, sir. And I, in my vast amounts of wisdom, just threatened them, saying that that was a warning shot. Uh, yes, sir. Well, well, damn. Um, what do we do now? I... I don't know, sir. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, how do you want to do this? Well... They don't know what our full capabilities are. And we don't know theirs. Mm, we might still have a chance. Really? Yes. Now we're about to use the goo and goes. Did he really just call that a warning shot? That asshole was aiming right for me. He didn't miss. Unless a warning shot means something different on this planet. He was definitely trying to kill me. Trying, being uh, the word. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, if anything, you did say we had stronger weapons, don't you? Yeah. But they just don't think it was a threat. Let's change their minds. Oh, I got an idea. 
Um, uh, can you uh, use the speakers on the ship and blow them towards them so I can uh, make my uh, louder decoration? What, what do you want to do? I want to see if they're all talk or not. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Like you said, they can't destroy a planet. At least from the weaponry that you seem to have. Seriously, I want to see... Wait, what was it called? A, uh, a nuke. A nuke. Oh yeah, patch me through the speakers. I I want to see what that nuke can do. Are you sure? Yeah, why not? If they're going to threaten us. You might as well. Did you just start destroying your stuff. Oh no, I won't give them a fighting chance. Come on, do it. Fine, fine, whatever. Just don't be too arrogant. We're trying to live here. They start it. I'm finishing it. <laughs> Attention, Earthlings. I have heard your demands, and I have decided... Fuck that! I've heard that you have these things called nukes. And I dare you to unleash them right here. And I will be waiting for the spectacular fireworks. Get it all. No, why, why? Did he just... Yes, sir, he... He dared us to unleash... Nukes, plural, right here, at him. Is that a trashy not in damn mind? He really? No, it must be a bluff. Uh, what do we do? No, in all seriousness, sir, I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk calling his bluff. Why not? Cut. If they, if he's that confident that he wants to take a nuke, if he has the cojones to actually want us to fire one, this spot directly at him, Tis or he has a way to possibly survive it. We do not, besides running the hell away. Well, uh, I see your point, but... Uh, 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 no, 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 no buts. No, no, no. Let's think, let's think for a moment. Ugh. They just wants to be cooperative, right? No, they want us to bow our heads to them. How certain are you? Pretty damn sure. I refuse to do such nonsense over just two people. <laughs> Sir, I really would suggest you not try to call his bluff. He took machine gun fire. And that ain't nothing about the power of a nuke. And he wants more than one. So we should serve him up? What about us? Son, we have port people here. 
certainly at least one of them got some kind of barrier or some kind of a protection, maybe healing work. Anyone? I do. Good. That's a good way to think it's radiation. Um, no, no, not really. Hey, I, I got a, a radiation absorbing quirk. Oh, now we're talking. But if anything, I I can only absorb so much. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I need a barrier quirk, healing quirk, absorption quirk that is good with radiation. And something that can absorb the kinetic energy of the blast. Do we have any, any individuals that can do that? As her hands raised, the... Yeah. Alright, let's give her permission and light him up. As stupid as the idea is, they decided to go through a better safe than sorry. If anything, they can still gain something from the wreckage. The only thing is, when they shoot each and every one of these nukes, Izuku is all too happy to see what they can do. But realizing, eh, this is going to be pretty boring, it's taking too long, he decides to fly up there and intercept each and every one of them. And in front of their eyes, he starts compressing it. Each and every one of them into the size of, let's say, a tennis ball. Of course, this alone in itself would have been terrifying. But just to make it worse, Izuku throws them out of orbit. And Izuku is happy to see the lovely fireworks. As you can imagine. What in tarnation did he just do? He intercepted it. Don't you know what a rhetorical question is? What he did, I saw it with my own eyes. I just, I didn't think it was possible. Sir, that was our strongest deterrent. And they are gone. Well, get other nukes. That's some of the other countries. Yeah, they said no. What? They refused. Damn cowards. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Ooh. I got Big Mama. What? Is that? Yeah, it's over your big grave. Let's just say, we've been preparing for a potential invasion. We're going to have to do an orbital strike. No. That's real? <laughs> They're real? Son, in a world full of superpowered human beings, and now, from what we can see, extraterrestrials, what do you think? Good point, good point, good point. Seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if Bigfoot started walking out of these woods. Hmm, yeah. I see. So, when are we going to do it? <sighs> Mom, I'm bored. These earth things are just all talk. There's nothing here worth, you know, really trying to be diplomatic. People already tried to attack us, it failed, but it seems like their spirit still is unbroken. Can I just start 
with the whole conquering aspect. No! Come on, man. Why you gotta be such a diplomat? Why you gotta be such a killjoy? We're trying to stay under wraps. Okay. We don't want to get caught up in anything that could put us back on the radar of the ones that destroyed our universe. Do we? You're right, you're right. It's fine. It's fair. <sighs> but seriously, Mom, I'm just... Huh? What? What the hell is that? Technology is destroyed, but at least we don't have to worry about them. <laughs> Me alive? Yeah. Mm. Man, I, I gotta say, that actually caught me off guard. Oh, you must. Yeah. I think we could just stay in the ship a little bit just as fine. What? What? Oh. You guys are still here. Huh. Considering how strong that blast was. Came from space. That was free. An axe. How are you alive? Huh? Oh. Uh, if anything, you just messed up. Just dirty up my clothes. What? Yeah, kind of inconvenient, but man, watching them ain't no real problem. The only thing that got damaged was your pants. Well, there is some dirt and fur, but eh, it's not the end of the world. I gotta say, you guys are pretty damn smart. Really? Yeah. Seriously, me and my mom arrived here. She did tell me about the weapons that you had. Emphasis on what you had. <laughs> but if anything, chances are she just found the ones that you made public. But having a weapon like this... Under wraps, just disguised as a regular old satellite until it's time to bring down the hammer. Genius. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, my kind, but uh, uh, so what now? Well, uh, as far as diplomatic. Approach. It seemed like that's failed. What? Yeah, we we wanted to be diplomatic at first. That was the whole message was about. We asked for refuge, and uh, 
we would like full cooperation. You know, from both sides. What? But yeah, considering you guys attacked us, at the very least, we had to, to reconsider. Huh? Yeah, if anything else, we're just going to retaliate. Yeah. Let me see, how many of these planets do you own? Excuse me? Yeah, you know, from uh, the one closest to your star to the one furthest from it. Wait, hey, you talking about? Yeah, that small one that's very cold. Oh, sorry, but Blue is not a planet. Really? Huh. Pluto. Pluto, that. Huh, interesting name. So it doesn't count as a planet, huh? I guess I can. I could destroy that one. But it doesn't really send much of a message. Uh, let's see. What's the biggest one name? Jupiter. Oh, good. I can destroy that one. What? No, you can't. Because it seems like it's mostly gas. You might as well just be trying to blow the star itself. True. And that pretty much defeat the purpose of coming here. <sighs> hmm. Uh, let's see, how can I... Wait, 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 wait. Before you think about retaliation, um, uh, uh, let me think here. Okay. That's a, a normal air greeting. Excuse me? Yes, that's how we always greet our... Other uh, brothers and sisters from beyond the stars. Really? Of course. Why else would we show you some of our uh, advanced arms? They was kind of like a cultural little exchange type deal. Oh. So shooting me and trying to blow me up, as well as uh, throwing nukes at us, as well as trying to pretty much burn our and destroy our whole existence with that orbital cannon is your way of what? Throwing what you had to offer? Exactly! You're pretty smart! Uh huh. Well, if anything, I suppose that makes somewhat a little bit of sense. So why not we show you what we have? What? Though yes, we do have weapons in our data banks and whatnot. We don't. We uh, don't have them with us. We don't? Yes, if anything, we don't really use weapons to begin with, though we do have them handy in memory banks and servers, just in case they are required. Well, we'll have to make them from scratch, and you know, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh... Yeah, it's interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So, what you're saying is, you don't have the weapons with you. But you can make them. Oh, yes. Hey. Considering how far you've gotten when it comes to the, you know, uh, space travel, even our ship is, uh, quite the marvel. Wow, yeah, but why, yes, it is. It, it's actually quite fascinating. Thank you. Eh, either way. Yeah. 
We can't really show you our weapons if we don't have any. We can't really show you our technology besides the ship and what's all in it. Hmm. Well, I'll at least show you our fighting skills. Oh, really? You're just going to fight? Wait, well, I thought you had no weapons. So like, oh, no, we, we're here. We like fighting ourselves, you know, fighting hand-to-hand -hand as well as energy-based attacks and things like that. What? Heck, I looked up some of the research as well as, you know, theories and whatnot when it comes to your planet, huh? You know, there's this thing called Key? Or is it Chi? I forget, Mom. Which one was it? It's interchangeable. It depends on the culture. Okay. But either way, we have something similar to that. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, only thing is, we, it's, uh, <laughs> we prefer not to use it that often. Why not? Well, for one, it's very destructive, which could possibly destroy the planet itself or make it almost uninhabitable, you know? Or is because, heck, you can see it. Oh. Oh, all right. That makes sense. So, y'all just you end up using the, what, um, uh, barehanded attacks. Yeah, usually. It depends on the level of the planet we're trying to conquer. <laughs> <clears throat> Conquer. <laughs> oh yeah. If we can't be diplomatic, we choose to conquer it and have it whoever the inhabitants or whoever's left, depending on how devastating it is, be under our rule. Oh that's interesting. Um so, what are you planning on doing now? Well, we have to show you the same respect you showed us. Uh, who's the strongest fighter? Oh. Um. Uh. Well, that would be someone, uh, a hero. Hero. Yes, number one hero. Oh, cool. And then, uh, how strong are these heroes? Um, pretty strong. If anything, uh, they are very crucial to certain operations. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll fight one of them. Do uh, you want the strongest or? Sure, why not? If anything, it'll keep me from getting bored. Great. Great, great, great. Um. Okay, who, who, who can we spare? Um. Uh, we could try Stars and Stripes. Oh, no, she's too busy. Yeah. Uh, wait. All oh, might. He's a complete powerhouse. He should be more than enough. If anything, he'll just strike a few moves and hopefully tire him out, or if not, he beats him. All right? Okay, but you're going to get it him to show up and, and want this to be as low-key as possible. Right, right, right. Um, uh, give her some time and we'll set the whole thing up. Great. Yeah. So what do you want to do until 
it's time for my little bout. I want to talk to you about why do you feel the need to play dumb? Oh, what do you mean? They were trying to kill us. Why well, you were acting like their whole cultural exchange nonsense makes sense. Um, you don't understand. Yes, your diplomatic approach failed because of your transmission, but we can turn this into a more beneficial arrangement. If anything, these guys are somewhat like the Tuffles. Really? How so? Heck, they like this. Tuffles don't have much battle power. Eh, we were able to get along swimmingly with them. Mainly because, heck, we respected not their our strength, but their minds, their intelligence. And yes, little these earthlings aren't as mentally capable or scientifically able to match the tuffles. At the very least, they give them some time. They should, uh, who to be more helpful. So that's why you just want to play along with their nonsense. Yeah. If anything, we have potential. And considering the fact that we are not very, uh, you know, we don't really have many other options when it comes to other places to live. It'd be nice just to possibly not try to conquer a planet, maybe. Really? Yes. You want to try to be more diplomatic? <sighs> yes. Sometimes you need to be more agreeable. Oh, you're learning. Yeah, whatever. If anything, we'll see how strong these heroes are. Hmm. Uh, if anything, I hope it's not going to be a complete boring experience. All right, we get we got a fight for you. Great. So, who's going to be my opponent? His name is All Might. Number one hero in Japan. Oh, okay. How strong is he? Very. Hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah. I think this is a great opportunity to test my skills. It's been forever since I had a good bout. Great. All I seeing that, yeah, this whole extraterrestrial thing is real, and seeing Izuku being a tad younger than he anticipated, is this the one I'm fighting? Yes. This child. Hey, 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 hey. I'm 12. I am not a child. Before I left, I was able, I was allowed to go on missions to subjugate planets. Do not confuse me for a child. What? Uh, never mind. So, you're the strongest hero in Japan. Yes. Okay. So, who should throw the first punch? Me or you? Hmm. You know what? How about you do it? Really? Why not? So, the 
punches All Might, and he's sent flying through a shit ton of trees as well as mountains. Of course, military is like, oh my god, we are fucked. Yep, we should have gotten Stars and Stripes. But this is when they know Izuku having a strange look on his face. He's like, okay, that's not right. What do you mean? The way I punched him, punched him in the gut. For some reason, it felt off. Huh. Shouldn't the biology of these earlings be around the same as ours? Well, yes. It feels like he's missing some key components. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. If anything, you might need to go check on his All Might sneaks up behind Izuku and clocks him in the head. He says he was just a wind and everything. He was making a small tornado. But when he looks back at him, huh, I guess you are pretty strong. Almost seeing that it did nothing. Uh, how? Hmm? No. If anything, it's maybe because I'm stronger than you. But for some reason, you're weaker than you should be. Huh? Wait, what? Yes, you're weaker than you should be. I don't understand it, but yeah, for some reason, you you don't seem like you're at your best. I, um, uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Is Zuko just lean in and just whispers, you're injured, aren't you? Heavily injured. If anything, if your biology is similar to ours, you shouldn't be up and about, old man. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dear. And tell a lot about a person while fighting them. And you, for some reason, should possibly be dead. <laughs> But for some reason, you are still kicking, and you... I admire that willpower. Uh, this plan is so much more special than I anticipated. Mom, you picked the one hell of a universe and one hell of a plan. Yeah. But I would love to fight you again. But this time... We should just call it off. Next time, though, I want you at your best. So, at the very least, we should heal you. What? Mom, uh... Mom, how functional is the med bay? How... how... Well, uh, saying the ship I acquired... It's a fully functional one with the latest when it comes to medical. Seems like he's gonna need some new innards. Can we do it? Yes. But you know, we're gonna have to make some adjustments considering though yes they're similar to us, they're not this. What? See, yeah, we're sale. We're uh, we're similar to you, but if we try to fix you, we have our DNA inscribed on that. So, what would happen? 
No, you could die. Or you'd be somewhat similar to us. Oh, so there's nothing you can do. Oh, no, there is. We just gotta find a human that can give us DNA similar enough to yours, but it has to be a broad spectrum. Who knows? Maybe one of these soldiers can be a good fit, you know? Really? Yeah, I don't see no problem with it. You're not lying. I have no reason to lie. For anything, I like you, All Might. You're interesting. You're strong. Your willpower is extraordinary. Huh. Yeah. For anything, I can see why you're no more hero of Japan. But considering you're not the world's strongest, it makes me so much more excited to fight other combatants. So, what do you think? Would you like to partake in the surgery? And I truly will be able to be my old self. Yeah. I mean, heck, we have a training facility up in, up on the mothership. What? Wait, wait, wait! What mothership? Oh, damn! I forgot you were here. But yeah, this is pretty much just a scout ship. But so, how big is the mothership? Well, if anything, let's see. Let's see, how big is your population? If anything, we could probably fit whole city. It's worth of your people on it. What? Yeah. If anything, I would, we do wish we could have brought more of us, but uh, according to mom, they won't listen to her. Wait. What do you mean? You're not... You're refugees, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Very much, that's the only reason why we're here, so... <laughs> Astonish. So... Huh. But you will share your resources with us. Well, like we said we want full cooperation. Though yes, now all your weapons are as impressive as that orbital cannon. Hell, it couldn't really do much to me either, and that's good. Oh well. So, you're willingly gonna get your technology to us? Oh yeah. For anything, it might give you all uh, a good boost when it comes to, you know, exploring the unknown. What? Yeah, seriously. You, you can't expect me to just <laughs> stay on this one planet when there's a whole universe and possibilities to explore. This is pretty much going to be like a home base for us. Oh. Uh. Well, I, uh. Don't know what to say. Just say yes. If anything, this could be a great opportunity for us to, you know, cohabitate, learn from each other. And grow as, you know, sentient beings. It's gonna be great. <laughs>